Welcome back to part 5. This video is going to be about the enhancements to global parameters. In Revit 2017 we saw the introduction of global parameters. Global parameters have been enhanced in 2018 to include radius, diameter, angles and equality. I'm now going to show you a couple of simple examples of this. Here's a simple application of global parameters used on a radius. I select the two radius dimensions. I name the global parameter. I'm going to call it GP corner radius. Now I can change the value Here I have another example of how this could be used. Here I have a group of trees in an array pattern. There's 12 trees. The radius has a dimension. That I could give a label. Global parameter. If I go into the group and select this circular array, I can choose the dimension next to the array. With tab, I can then choose the angle. This I could give a new global parameter. So now by going into the angle here, I can change this to 360. I could also change the radius to 8 meters. I can now copy this group. over to the other side of the site. Now both groups will be controllable by my global parameters. So if I click on this one, change it here to 10 meters. Now both groups will update. I'm now going to demonstrate how you use a global equality parameter. I'm just going to choose an aligned dimension and I'm going to select the center line of my trees. I'll click on the equality, escape. Then I can choose the dimension string and apply a global parameter. So now if I display the value, go into the parameter, change the value, 7.5 meters, then my trees are evenly spaced with the value that I've entered. This is definitely going to be useful when controlling objects which require equidistant placing in the future. As a side note, always look out for global parameters next to your instance parameters. Here, for example, there's a global, there's a button next to the parameter for seal height. If I clicked on that, I could apply a global parameter to the, the seal height offset from level. Or I could go into 
the type properties of an object and I could override the type properties with the global parameter. Here I've used the global parameter to apply the material to the balconies. If I went into the global parameter manager, I could change the material type of the balconies This will override all of the balconies at once. Once again, I thank you for your time and I hope to see you again soon.